Hello friends, I'm Candence and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be piercing my septum at home. Uh, this isn't a how-to video, so don't listen to anything I say in this video. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to pierce your septum at home by yourself. If you're wondering why my hair looks like this, it's because I just dyed my hair and I figured since I already had my gloves out that I could also just go ahead and pierce my septum today. That way we save the planet a little bit by using less gloves. So yeah, I just figured I'd use the same gloves. Don't worry, I got them here. I washed the gloves with salt water so they're completely sterile now and definitely safe to use on a piercing. And I just have them here on the side of the couch. I'll show you all the rest of my supplies. So the first thing up is this lemon. Now I squeeze the juice out of it, that way when I used it in my nose, it won't create juice everywhere because that is just messy. So a squeezed lemon. The next thing I'm using during this piercing is this meat thermometer here. Now I wanted a larger gauge piercing. Now I wanted my septum to be a larger gauge so that's why I figured um, the meat thermometer would be the way to go since the needle is a lot thicker but it's still pointy. I couldn't find anything on Amazon. I know you can buy hollow needles on Amazon and they're completely sterile. They're from definitely reputable facilities, but I know that I can sterilize this by just putting it on salt water and that's what I did. So it's already completely sterile. So that's why I'm using this. And if you want a meat thermometer of yourself, I just got this one out of my kitchen drawer. So you can go ahead and look in your kitchen drawer and you might have one there. It's definitely safe to pierce your septum with a meat thermometer. This isn't actually a how-to video, but that's why I'm showing you step-by-step step how I'm doing this. But definitely don't do it by yourself at home because it's definitely better to go to a piercer. I just don't want to, even though I know and I'm capable. I just figured I'd do it myself at home since I had the supplies. I told you I was going for a larger gauge, so this is the size jewelry I'm putting in. This is a four gauge circular barbell. And actually it's internally threaded, which is supposed to be better for your piercing. I just got this right from Amazon. And basically I got it in the mail and I just put it straight into a cup of salt water and that is supposed to sterilize it. So the salt water sterilized it overnight. So it's completely safe and there's no bacteria on it at all. And don't worry, I washed my hands before I dyed my hair, so they're definitely clean because they've been inside those gloves for the past like hour as I was dyeing my hair. Um, so yeah, my hands are clean, so don't worry about that. They're not dirty at all. And I'm just going to be looking to my right over here with this compact. I don't have a mirror in this room, so I'm just using this compact. Don't worry, I did wipe this compact down with salt water. Um, so I'll just be using the mirror in this since now this mirror is sterile so I'll be able to move it however I want to so I'm just gonna have this over here on my table the last thing I'm gonna be using for this is this old sharpie that I had from college now I used to use sharpies a lot in college for coloring so I'm just gonna use this ultra fine point sharpie to help me mark my nose so I can make a really straight piercing so I guess that's it and we're just gonna get on started marking it first don't worry i washed my nose with salt water so there's definitely no bacteria present and i'm about to take a shower so washing it after is the same as washing it before when it comes to piercings because you're cleaning it either way first thing i'm going to do is mark it so you just want to tilt your head back and then make a straight line oh that wasn't straight just make a bunch of lines since that is a really thick piece of jewelry and the meat thermometer is really thick I'm just gonna make the lines over and over again and just rubbing this across my nose that way um, I can see a really straight line there okay so I have my marking this is what it looks like so yeah, you just want to make a line on your nose and that's exactly what you need to know and you'll be able to make your piercing perfectly straight. It doesn't take any more training than that to make a good piercing. So just the straight line will be good. So I'm putting my um, mirror down, still clean, putting it down on 
this table that I also washed with salt water. And now that I did that, next I'm gonna put on the gloves because you don't want to touch your piercing implements without gloves on. That would be a huge no-no. So I'm putting my gloves on, that way um, all the equipment will stay sanitary with no bacteria at all. So you gotta pick up your meat thermometer with the pointy side facing your septum. And then you wanna pick up the lemon. It looks like the lemon is picking up the extra blue off the glove, but so don't put the blue part on your nose. You just wanna um, put the clean part on your nose. So first thing you're gonna do is stick the lemon in your nose. And since it's citrus, even though you wash it with salt water, the citrus will still help sanitize your nose while you do the piercing. That's why I chose a lemon instead of an apple because uh, I know people use apples to pierce their ears and stuff, but I know lemons, the citrus is antibacterial. So that's why I'm using that. And then uh, I'm just gonna get the dust off of this. I don't want it to be dirty when it goes through my piercing. Here, I'm just gonna align the lemon in my nose first. And then you want to make sure you're going to put the meat thermometer straight through. So you want to make sure it's aligned. And make sure you don't get any Sharpie on this. Make sure it's nice and clean. So you just want to make sure you'll be able to have a straight line there. You just got to put the pointy part of the meat thermometer at the front of your nose. And then you just got to push. And then what you're doing is creating a little hole on the right side. And then we're going to flip it and create another hole on the other side. So you want to make sure it's straight with your line. And you just got to push. And it's going to hurt a lot. And it's really unnecessary pain when you pierce yourself at home to make sure it hurts a lot. That's another reason why I use this meat thermometer. So I felt it puncture a little bit. So now I'm gonna switch sides. So then you're gonna put the lemon on this nose, this side of your nose too, and then align it up the same way. Um, then line it up the same way, make sure it's perfectly straight in the mirror. Make sure the meat thermometer is going straight before you press again. And this time you're pressing to try to make it go through and then hit the lemon on the other side. So you're just gonna push. Okay. And see, it just got caught by the lemon, so it went safely through my nose and I didn't hit the inside of my other side of my nose. So I'm putting the lemon back. And now I'm gonna Oh, I should have opened this first. So now I have to like hold this. I guess I'll just hold it like this so it doesn't dangle. So you just untwist the ball because letting it hang kind of hurts because the meat thermometer is so heavy. So you're untwisting the ball and I'm just going to put it down over here. And then I'm going to align this and then try to get it through. Oh, it messed. So now I gotta do the lemon again. Okay. So now that there's already a hole there, it should be easier. I shouldn't need to put so much pressure. So I'm just gonna jam this in my nose and it's gonna burn because you just made a stab hole in your nose. So it's gonna sting because the lemon, but that just means it's cleaning the wound. So it's okay. And then you just put the thing back in and then you know it'll go straight through and the lemon catches it again. So here we go. Okay, got my jewelry back. This time the ball was already unscrewed. So then you just gotta align it and then slide it through. And it's in. So you can see it is going straight through there. So now I gotta pick up this ball and screw this ball into the hole. So 
so it's really hard to get a good grip with this glove because the glove is just getting in my way so since the piercing's done I don't think I need the gloves anymore because the gloves were just the extra layer of sterilization so my hands are still sterile but I'm just gonna take the gloves off so I can get a better grip on the ball and it'll still be safe and sterile and don't worry so I'm picking the ball back up here and now I'm just gonna screw this ball I got it with my nails so don't worry my nails are clean too I wash them with salt water too so then I'm just gonna align it and then screw it on ah, it's so hard so difficult <laughs> And then when your nose is sore, it makes it harder. Okay, I got it. I'm just gonna finish screwing it on. Okay, and this is it. Here is the finished septum piercing. Let me know, what do you guys think? Do you like septum piercings? What gauge is your septum piercing? How did you pierce your septum? Did you go to a piercer? Did you pierce it yourself with a meat thermometer? Uh, I definitely recommend the meat thermometer, even though this isn't a how-to, how-to video. This is just uh, my experience to show you how to pierce your septum at home, but definitely don't do it yourself at home because it's not really that safe. Let me know what you think. Please go down below, like, and subscribe. Please comment. Uh, tell me anything. Do you have any questions about any of my other piercings? And let's be honest, do you have any questions about how I actually got my septum to a four gauge? Because this wasn't a real piercing video. If you're surprised, comment down below, leave a like. <laughs> I think I made it pretty obvious, but I don't know. But I really am dyeing my hair. I just thought it would be a funny character. Anyway, please go like, subscribe. Uh, watch my other piercing content. I just started my channel, so there's bound to be many more. Comment down below any more ideas you have. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Candence L. You can find me on my art Instagram at Chromatic Sauce. And my art YouTube channel at Chromatic Sauce. All linked in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. See you in the next one. Bye. I was really hoping the lipstick would smear more and it would look a lot more like lipstick all over my piercings and stuff. Like that. And then it would, it would be more triggering to get the lipstick in my piercing. That's okay.